Road conditions are a big part of the aftermath of this winter storm. However, so are power outages. At the height of the storm, more than 80,000 people across Virginia and North Carolina were left in the dark and the cold. And a lot of those customers were in Virginia Beach. That's where we have our Maria Elena Baloris. So, Maria Elena, how many outages are left in Virginia Beach? Well, Lex, Katie, I've been taking a look at the Dominion outage map all morning long, and it's gone consistently down. There are now less than 400 people, according to that map, that do not have power this morning. And that is a drastic change from what we saw yesterday. I mean, tens of thousands of people without power. Lansdowne High School actually opened up as a shelter for people who didn't have power. They could go with uh, blankets, clothes, food, things like that. That stayed open overnight. Deputies with the Virginia Beach Sheriff's Office were there to make sure everything ran smoothly there. So that was a place for people to stay. So so we have been out in town center all weekend, all the last two days, excuse me, long, keeping an eye on the roads here. This is Independence Boulevard. We're on Commerce Street, and there is a layer of snow over top of the street underneath that layer of snow, though that's where the ice is. And that's the same thing that we're seeing on these side streets. There's a layer of snow and then a layer of ice. So if you're walking, if you're driving, it is slick out here. It is not great to be outside right now. I've been walking around and just really cautious about where I've been stepping because of that ice. Now, also along the street, you see these piles of snow. So those are from the plows that have been working around the clock to clear the roads, but then we have them on the sides of the street. A little bit of visibility issues if you're turning, but also we're going to be keeping our eyes on those piles as they melt, potentially freeze, turn to ice all over that. So, you know, there's a lot to watch out for. If you are out on the roads, we're going to stay put in town center to keep our eyes on what we see out here, and we'll keep you posted. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Muddy Alana Baloris, 10 on your side. 635, we continue our winter storm team coverage with a live look from our wavy drive cam. Photojournalist Curtis Akers has been out on the road since early this morning, and right now he is on Granby headed toward Ocean View. And we do want to stress streets that may have looked passable before you went to bed may be frozen over again this morning. So again, if you don't have to go out, it is best to just stay inside until crews can work on clearing more roads this morning. That is right, and if you are traveling by air, things are still a little dicey today. Many arrivals and many outgoing flights are delayed or canceled. That's because the winter storm we saw yesterday hit the Northeast late last night. Be sure to check with your carrier before leaving this morning. 644. This morning, our winter weather coverage shifts from tracking the storm to following its aftermath. One of the biggest issues now, sloppy road conditions. And we have crews monitoring the developing situation across the region. Rico Bush is on the peninsula and Kara Dixon is on the south side. Let's head first to Rico Bush. He's live in Hampton. And Rico, at least this morning, the wind isn't blowing you around quite as much. Yeah, that's exactly right, Lex and Katie. The wind is not blowing, so that is good news here. But it is colder than what it was yesterday. So keep that in mind if you are out uh, this morning driving or walking. One thing you're going to run in today is the ice. That is a major issue today. Uh, but I want to show you the roadways and what they look like today compared to yesterday. Behind me, this is Mercury Boulevard just west of I-64. You can see that the roads are pretty clear. Uh, city crews have done a great job at trying to get these roads clear for drivers here. But you are going to run into a thin layer of ice and snow on the roadway. So keep that in mind as well. Again, the major issue today is that ice. That is the reason why a lot of city services and schools are shut down today because that ice is piled up in those neighborhood streets. But I want to show you right now, we have seen some plow trucks outside. Those plow trucks aren't necessarily plowing the roadways here, but they are pushing all of this ice and snow off to the side of the road. So if you are out today, you're going to see this massive pile of ice and snow the sidewalk, so you want to keep that in mind if you're out walking, just be very careful. Um, also, if you're driving, be careful as well. Again, the roadways, they are passable. Uh, just take your time and be cautious out on the roadways this morning. Uh, visibility, not an issue today like it was yesterday. Again, the major issue today is that ice and that cold. My colleague, Kara Dixon, right now, she is in Norfolk. She has been watching the uh, road conditions down there, and Kara, tell us a little bit about um, how the roads are looking compared uh, to yesterday yesterday. Yeah, Rico. Now I've been out here um, since about four o'clock and we've been watching these roads and they seem pretty drivable right now. Now yesterday when we were out here, there wasn't really that much snow down on the waterside drive where we were, but a uh, cruise came through here, pushed that snow to the side. Now what you see right now on the roads is just a mixture of snow and ice. Now I've been watching some cars coming through our area. A lot more traffic out here today, um, as you would expect. We haven't really seen these cars having any trouble, so that's a good thing. But underneath the snow, 
is ice down here so if you guys are out like we've been saying if you have to drive around make sure you guys are driving slow uh, drive safe also remember to knock that snow off the top of your cars we have a car coming through right now it still has some snow on top of the car uh, make sure you clear that off your car before you leave because that can fall off and hit other cars as you're driving um, but it's just pretty cold out here that's one of the problems that you'll probably run into today if you do plan on going out just make sure you bundle up and also if you are driving just make sure that you slow down stay safe because there are some slick spots out here now we'll continue to be out here to monitor these conditions for the rest of the morning reporting live in Norfolk Kara Dixon 10 on your side